So in this video, we will be talking about law of sines. So first is what is law of sines. So law of sines is being used to solve problems that involves triangle which are not right triangle. Because usually those right triangles are being solved by, uh, by using the Sokotoa because it is simpler or easier to solve. Now in this triangle we have A, B, and C and um, the length of the sides are denoted by small letters A, B, and C. So according to the law of sines, if you divide uh, the A, the length of uh, A divided by the sine of the angle A, which is opposite to the side uh, small a, is equal to the quotient of the B divided by the sine of the angle B. And it's also equal to um, the quotient of the small c or the length of c divided by the sine of the angle c. So in short, the ratio of uh, the pairs of the angle and the, its opposite uh, side is just equal to the other pairs. Or you can write it in this way. So you can put the, the angle on top and the sides at the bottom. So let us have an example on how to use the law of sines in solving uh, triangles. So for example, we have this triangle ABC with the lens a, um, 8 centimeters and the other one is an unknown side denoted with X variable. And there are two given angles, 60 degrees and 40 degrees. So how do we solve this unknown uh, variable? So as you can see, 60 degrees is paired with its opposite side, which is the unknown x. So we can write it in this way. So we have x over the sine 60. So that's how uh, the law of sine is being used. And another pair, um, 8 and 40 degrees. So we have uh, 8 over the sine 40. So you have to make sure that in the equation, it should be an one unknown. Uh, variable so that you can solve it or else if there are two or more variables missing in one equation then that is not possible to solve. So the next step is to um, have the x equals so the sine 60 is gone it's only x it's because it is being cross multiplied to the right side so sine 60 will be multiplied to 8. So it's 8 times sine 60 degrees over, uh, just copy the sine 40. So next, x is approximately, so we use approximation symbol because we're going to round off uh, after multiplying. So 8 times sine 60 degrees is 6.93 approximately. So we just round it off to two decimal places and take sine 40 degrees, which is 0 0.64. And you have to be careful in taking the um the sign using the calculators because sometimes the calculators is in radian form not in degree form which will give you um an incorrect value even if the correct uh, process is correct so then divide 6.93 uh by 0 0.64 so the answer is approximately equal to 10.83 and check if there's a unit. So we have a centimeters in the unit of the side. So we're gonna write CM in our answer. Let's have another example. So let's say we have um, another triangle ABC with a length of 18 inches and the other one is a known variable. And then there are two angles given 40 degrees and 68 degrees. So now let's check the pairs. So we have 40 degrees and uh, the pair opposite side is 18 inches, while x has um, no pair of uh, angle. Although this is 60, there is 68 degrees, but that is not the pair of the unknown variable. So it is missing. So what are we going to do with this? So first thing to do is to um, figure out first what is the value of that angle, because that is important to know since it's the pair of the, the unknown variable x. So to do that, uh, we have to 
use the information that the total um, interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So to make it a total of 180 degrees, so we're going to subtract the sum of uh, 40 degrees and 68 degrees from 180. So 180 minus the sum of 68 and 40, uh, the total, I mean the result is 72 degrees. So that means uh, opposite to the the, um, the unknown variable x is having a measure of 72 degrees. So after that we can use the law of sines. So um, x over uh, the opposite angle which is sine 72 degrees equals um, 18 over its pair sine 40 degrees. Now next step is um, the left side will only be x because sine 72 will be cross multiplied to 18. So it will be 18 times sine 72 degrees over sine 40. And then calculate um, the top. So it will be approximately 18 times sine 72 is 17.12 while the bottom sine 40 is 0 0.64 and then divide the two so it is approximately equal to 26.75 and then check if there is a unit so the unit um, used is inches so we're going to put inches in our final answer now let's have another example so again it's named a triangle ABC and this time the unknown variable is the angle. So we denote it with the angle theta. Um, or you can use just C. So although in the given it's already mentioned it's theta. So theta is a Greek letter used usually for unknown angles. So let's look at the pairs. We have 12 and the angle theta. So we can write it as 12 over sine theta equals and another pair is 10 and 55 degrees so we can write it as 10 over sine 55 degrees and then um, although this is already correct or and you can solve it already but it is um, always simpler to solve when the unknown is in the numerator or, or it's on top so what you can do to make it simpler is to flip both sides so we can flip it in this way and on the other side so you can do that as long as both sides are flipped so now the unknown variable theta is now on top and it's simpler now to solve. So we cross multiply the 12 to the other side. So what's left is only sine theta at the left side of equal sign. So it will be equal to and then cross multiply 12 times sine 55 degrees and then copy the 10 at the bottom. And then we are going to calculate it. So sine theta is approximately equal to, because we are rounding off 12 times sine 55, so it will be 9.83. So we are rounding off to two decimal places, and the bottom is just 10, so just copy it. And then theta, so the next step will be only theta, because sine is being transferred to the other side. So how do we transfer it? So it will be approximately, we're going to um, transfer the sign by taking its inverse. So sine to the power of negative 1 is the inverse sign or the arc sign. So that's how you transfer uh, um, a sine function or any trigonometric function. And then put inside the 9.83 divided by 10. Then um, calculate in the calculator or uh, compute it. So make sure that your calculator is in degree mode. So if you compute this in the calculator, it will give you approximately 79.42 degrees.